I mean, there's a lot of people that have made things, you know, for, for a long time that spin and turn in the wind, and, and they are an extraordinary example of that. They're massive, they can be up to 13,500 pounds or 60 feet tall, the, the works that Vilas made. We're at the Vila Simpson Whirly Gig Park in downtown Wilson, North Carolina. So uh, a whirly gig is something that moves in the wind and oftentimes the blade, there's a blade on it that turns and when that blade turns, an action that happens. Uh, sometimes they're very basic, like a simple sort of windmill and other times they have a lot of moving parts that, um, that, that turn and move. He uh, was born and raised and lived in a town called Lukama, about 11 miles from here. And um, he had an industrial record service, moved barns, houses, industrial machinery, farming equipment. And he would often make these incredible machines to do that work. He was very um, inventive and ingenious in, 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 in the way he thought about um, reusing parts and, and, and making things. And so that was his primary occupation up until around retirement age. And really that's when he started to make what you see out here, the whirly gigs. He didn't start these until retirement age and he made them really until uh, the rest of his life up until 94 years old. Bob Simpson was a kind and sincere person with strong convictions about uh, things. He was in the Army Air Corps in World War II and had seen a lot, not only uh, from the United States side, but from the world view. He was hardworking and s extremely dedicated to the completion of any project. And uh, along around retirement age, uh, he came up with some other ideas to keep that momentum going. He would sometimes bring ideas to the table, to the kitchen table, and say, what do you think of? Or bring an actual piece of it and say, this is going to be. So growing up, I got to see basic pieces without the finished product, and I would be in awe and wonder when you see the finished product. On a lot of these, you'll see bicycle elements, either rims or um, the sprocket part with the pedals or even an entire bicycle. And so this one has, um, I think, 16 different bicycle rims and then a full-size bicycle there on top with the, with the rider. So when the wind turns, his, his, he pedals that bike. So all of this is uh, recycled material that he collected over time. Um, so many of these are from signposts or billboards. I mean, all of this um, material was sourced from somewhere nearby, uh, manufacturing or farming uh, that he collected over time. So uh, almost like historical records in a way. The energy crisis brought on the idea to, you know, kind of make a woodworking, wood burning stove to furnish the house. And he built a large whirly gig, it's one of these, to windmill drive it. So when I'm in high school, he is approaching a, a very practical way to assist our living. And eventually it made its way up at the original part and then uh, all its way, on its way to Wilson. And it's up today. The Whirly Gigs are still owned and maintained by a nonprofit, the Vila Simpson Whirly Gig Park uh, Muse and Museum. And we do all the programming in the park. They're laid out very similarly to the way they were in Vallis's field, except he had a pond in the center. Instead of a pond, we have a, um, a green and a stage where we do lots of events. So we want to keep it very active uh, for people here in town. My father had completed the idea that it was, it was going to be a good thing to have a Whirly Gig Park in Wilson. And he was anxious to see it develop, but he passed before any Whirly Gig was finalized and pla placed in. I worked out of town, but I had reason each day to come through town to pick up my children. And I would watch the Whirly Gig Park evolve over the, the time that they built it. In the last two years, I actually have a job downtown now. And I see it daily, and it is a rejuvenation to my spirit and, and uh, in memory of my father of how proud he would be and certainly how proud I am and for my family. <laughs>